Hello my lovely, so if you haven't noticed already, the quality might have got better. Well, it would have been well better if done because I've got a new camera. Yeah, I got the Canon D600 or the EOS KISS X5 as it is in Japan. So that's the one I've got of the EOS KISS X5. But it's exactly the same as the Canon D500. They're just different names across different continents for some reason. I don't know. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be filming my May favourites or my monthly favourites. And this month there's a lot more non-beauty favourites than there are beauty favourites. So I'm going to start with the beauty favourites because they're few and far between. So the first thing, I'm going to jump straight into it, um, is my foundation I've been using. This is the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation and mine is in, I believe, NC... Yeah, NC15. Um, and I've lost the lid. <laughs> um, but the foundation itself is amazing. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder because I'm not used to using this camera yet. So the foundation is absolutely amazing. I, I use the teeniest, tiniest, teeniest bit. Like literally a pea sized amount. And I buff it into the skin with Max Fix Plus and I use like a um like a sort of kabuki type brush and then I just sort of spray the actual brush itself and then I work it in and it kind of dilutes the foundation a little bit so it spreads much 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 more evenly and just it sinks in far easier I just, I just find it, it gives a really nice finish and then of course if you want another layer it's best to layer up once the first layer is already sunk in I found that with this foundation when you put too much on it just looks awful but when you put the right amount on it looks lovely I always have to top it off um with a powder and I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder which I think is really really lovely because it's a pink tone. I've got um, pink ah, pink blossom, not pink sands. I'm always tempted to say pink sands. If you can notice they're like, um, maybe I'll zoom in and see if you can tell. One of them is like pink toned and one of them is yellow toned. Yeah, you can tell. And if you put them together it kind of makes a neutral toned um, really lovely foundation which I really really love. Now the next thing I've got is a nail varnish and it's not I don't mean this nail varnish in particular, I just mean ones of the general pastel variety, but I have got a really nice pastel one here, and this is Palmer Violet by Topshop, and this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colour. It reminds me of Violetism? Lilacism by Essie, um, and they're kind of a dupe for one another. About the same price though, so it's not really worth getting one if you've got the other, so that's just something to bear in mind. Um, but it's just a really, really lovely colour. Um, but there's some other pastels I've been loving, like the Barry M, ooh, I think it's called Ridley, Ridley Road, yeah, and, um, have I got any others with me? Yeah, um, again, Mint Candy Apple, and then another purple, which is clearly I just, I'm really adventurous with my nail varnish colours, they're either green or purple. The pastel nail varnish is just really, really lovely, especially as we're starting to come into summer and everyone's getting a bit more tanned. Okay, so the next thing is a scent, and it's CK Into You her version and um oh, it's such a good summer scent i haven't seen it in shops over here but that might just be because they're understocked but i've seen it online and i do know they still sell it somewhere um but oh it's just it's so nice it's kind of got that like after shavy kind of smell to it and it's just oh it was my summer scent in 2009 and then um i kind of forgot about it and then on my 16th birthday i brought it back out again i bought it at the airport and then i think i dropped it and the actual spray thing sprays it's like a spurt rather than a, a spritz so basically it comes out and you just get these like big patches where it's kind of just only sprayed out like a, like a, a shoot so i stopped using it but then i re rediscovered it and kind of found that it's kind of worth that it's such a lovely scent and i'm going to get it with a working spritzer ASAP because it's just such a lovely 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 scent. Now the next thing is a little bit different it's not a beauty favourite and it's not a fashion favourite it's more of kind of a thing I've been accumulating. Now I've been sort of collecting phone cases for a phone I don't even have yet. Uh, 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 okay I'm excited to get my new phone and I've just been literally collecting phone cases so I've got three phone cases already and haven't even got an iPhone 5. Um, well, I've just found iPhone 5 cases are so much cheaper and when I see them um, I know I'm getting the phones it's not like it's like wishful thinking I know I'm getting the phones so when I see them and they're cheap I will pick one up um, like I would with my own phone but I'm just starting to stop by uh, buying iPhone cases for my phone currently because I know I'm not going to have it for that long. Um, so the first two are from Forever 21 and they're little cats. 
and I know they've got some quite similar ones on Amazon but they're just the squidgy cases with the um I don't even know what that is it's like the support at the back so if you drop it it's not as um damaging um I just think they're gorgeous they're so cute I initially got it in the pink I think and I was like mm, what if I want the blue so I got them both ha the next thing was sent to me by repcheap.com. Now, when they contacted me, they said I can choose anything from the website. So this is not something they've sent to me and said, review this. I've picked this out from the website because I like it and I will talk about it because I like it. Now, I just have been seeing these cases online and they're like the Chanel ones and the Louis Vuitton ones. I just really wanted one. I, I don't even know why. They're, I just find them so cool. Um, and now when this phone case arrived, I was so surprised by the packaging. It comes in this like Louis Vuitton box, this pull out drawer. Like, how cool is that? And then the phone case is inside, so I'm just gonna pull that out. Um, so this is the phone case. Um, and it came really, really well packaged. Um, but oh, look how cool that is. I'll, I'll just zoom you in a second so you can see it. Um, it's got the like gold plastic Louis Vuitton Lego and the sort of soft plastic, um, like leather look. Um, background i just think these are so 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 cute i mean they're a little bit gimmicky and i know some people might hate this but i just think they're so cute now continuing on from rep cheap i'm just so impressed with their website and i've got to mention another product just because i'm so impressed with their customer service and the way they the way the product was shipped it's just all so professional and amazing um and i got this navy blue bag which is a bit different for me to get navy because i'm not a navy girl usually um and it's this navy blue bag um it's fake prada how we do it. now look oh look how cute this is it's neat so it's navy blue it's um it's a big bag actually for its size and it kind of opens up ugh, to be a bit bigger than it is it looks and then you can have it either out like this as like a um just a square sort of bag or you can pop in the sides and have it as a um give it a little bit more shape actually I, I prefer to wear it like this just because I don't really carry that much stuff um, and I just pop in the sides like that and you've got like a, a slightly more angular kind of bag I really think it's just a gorgeous gorgeous classic piece which I can wear with loads and loads of outfits and I'm really 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 impressed with everything to do with their website that's it it's quite a short video I just kind of wanted to come to terms with the camera more than anything um, and I have I think let me know if I'm completely out of focus the whole time I, I've got terrible eyesight, I can't see the viewfinder, so <laughs> just let me know if there's any tips on this camera as well, if you have it, so that would be awesome. So lots and lots and lots of love, have a lovely weekend, and if anyone's on study leave, because now exam season's properly kicked in, I'm on study leave now, so if any of you are on study leave, good luck with your exams, and um, I really, really, really hope that... Um, everybody has a fantastic exam season. I am doing an exam video next week where I'm doing how to prepare for exams as well as my graduation video because I've got my graduation ceremony coming up uh, and I will be featuring these Louboutins. Louboutins. Again, repcheap.com. Awesome. So yes, these will be featured in my next video. Stay tuned for that. I'm really excited. You can all see my dress. That's the most ex that's that's exciting, isn't it? All right, so I'm off now. So lots and lots and lots of love.